Hey, thanks so much for tuning in to the Daily Dose for Spiritual Girl. Today is Thoughtful Thursday, and we're going through the life and ministry of Jesus and to the point of his last days here on this earth. And now this account is Jesus in front of the crowds with Pilate. Now, it was the governor's custom to release a prisoner at the festival. Now there was Barabbas and there was Jesus and Pilate brings it in front of the crowds and says, which one should I release? And and the people were shouting, Barabbas, 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 you know, release him. And this is in Matthew chapter 27, starting in verse 22. What shall I do then with Jesus, who is called the Messiah? Pilate asked. They all answered, crucify him. Why? What crime has he committed? Asked Pilate. But they shouted all the louder, crucify him. When Pilate saw that he was getting nowhere, that, but that instead an uproar was started, he, sh- he took water and washed his hands in front of the crowd. I'm innocent of this man's blood, he said. It's your responsibility. And all the people answered, his blood is on us and on our children. Then he released Barabbas to them, but he had Jesus flogged and he handed him over to be crucified. I want us to understand here that that Pilate here, he was thinking in his own mind that I'm going to wash my hands clean of this. It's not my responsibility, it's yours. By but but by him doing that very act is actually putting the responsibility on himself. And there are times in our lives where we want to put our responsibility on other people and say it's it's not mine when it actually in turn is. And the thought-provoking question that I want us to ponder today is, you know, Pontius Pilate, he chose to go with the crowd. Now, the question I want to ask you and I'm asking myself is, when is the last time that I that I chose, that we chose to go with the crowd versus standing up for what is right? You know, he had the authority and he chose to go with the crowd versus doing the right thing. Now, for you... When is the last time that you did that? When is the last time that you stood up for what is right, regardless of what the, your friends were saying, regardless of what the crowd was, was, was doing or saying or thinking, you stood up for what is right? Think about that. And next time, how can you now prepare yourself that you can anticipate to stand up for what is right? regardless of what someone tells you or what the crowd is doing. I hope that's an encouragement to you. Let's choose to anticipate and go to the Lord prior to that decision so that we can stand firm when we have to make that decision. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for another Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.